We're already filming a podcast with none other than Chris Garza of Suicide Silence. Uh, that'll be dropping soon. Hell yeah. Beautiful weather today. Keen for it. Sick. So we're in uh, San Francisco today, as you might be able to tell. It's pretty cool being here. We haven't been here before. Uh, checking out the bridge, checking out Alcatraz and San Francisco's kind of psycho by the looks of it. Very interesting. Tonight's venue looks real cool. I think it's the Telegram Ballroom? Telegram Bedroom, one of those. Um, yeah, keen for tonight's show and yeah, sick. I may have fucked up the venue name before. It is not the Telegram Ballroom Band Room. That was our last venue. It is what, the Great American Music Hall? Music Hall? Tonight in San Fran, um, cool venue. San Fran is cool. <laughs> um, let's hope the gig's a good one. We we'll guess we'll see, huh? They've been treating us nice here, though. That's good. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today we're in, where are we? We're in Roseville, California. California. This guy here, I'm trying to get us deported. Um, he was fucking around backstage. Found a bear head that was a taxidermy taxi bear head. Taxidermy bear, bear head. Not like Scotty's head. Not like Scotty's head. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Pretty much like that. And he was fucking around with it, being an idiot like he does. Security saw the CCTV footage and thought he was stealing it and tried to send this motherfucker home. So, uh, had to deal with that. He literally mentioned my visa and how easy it'd be to get a foreigner deported because I'm here on a work visa. Yeah, some crazy ego trip and bullshit. But we sorted that out and we're about to go rip a set. Um, so no bears were harmed in the making. No bears were stolen. Fucking... Take on I probably got to mention all the live footage you keep seeing. This bloke picks up my camera, runs around, saving my life. Nailed it.
Yo, what's good? Um, we're currently stopped in the middle of Roseville and Portland somewhere on our way to Portland for tomorrow's show. Roseville last night was sick. I had a lot of fun. Roseville has always been good to us. Second time playing there now. Um, I did lose odds last night, funnily enough, and I had to wear my shoes on opposite feet for a couple of songs. That was kind of weird. For anyone that doesn't know what odds game is um, basically it's a daring game if you dare your friend to do something you'll say what are the odds um, you eat a bag of poop and depending on what number that friend gives you say it's one in 50 odds I'll eat the bag of poop um, you have a friend countdown three two one and you'll both say a number between one and fifty and if you say the bo both say the same number you got to do it. You just have to do it. So you get to pick your own number, depending on what you're going to do. And that's what happened. We counted down from 1 to 20, both said 11, and I had to wear opposite shoes. There are a couple rules that we made up as well. If you back out of the dare, you get slapped on the tummy as hard as the other person wants to do it. That's only if you back out, so don't back out. And another rule is if the numbers add up to the total number, like say if it's out of 20 and you do six and 14, it reverses and the person asking the dare has to do it. So you have to be willing to do the dare originally in the first place if you're asking someone to do it. So you gotta be careful. Might do it. Except for underwater bears. <laughs> underwater bears. Underwater mountain lions. Water bears. How is it? That's good. out of it. I can't do it, Captain. I can't. Send it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he recovered. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Get that out of my head! Get a sign! Tight and tense, like, it's core. Hold your knees up. Yeah, tuck your legs. Yeah, yeah he's got it with a word! The longer you think about it, the more it's going to psych you out. Hit! Yeah! Yeah, boy! That was it! <laughs> yeah, it's hard, man. When you're down here, you're like, I can do it. Yeah. Oh, it's so hot! <laughs>